We're a local Bundaberg farmer, approximately 12 kilometres southeast of the post office in Bundaberg. We grow sugarcane as our primary source of income, peanuts and soya beans and sometimes field peas as a legume rotation. The family uh, approximately 100 years ago had a farm at Bagara. We've been farming here for, since 1989 in this area. My son is also going to lease another farm in the district to um, keep it going as a good commercial family farm. I'm Mitch Chapman, I'm a fourth generation cane farmer. I've lived on this farm my whole life. Well, I'm a boilermaker by trade, I've done that. The reason I'm still hanging around the farm is I just like being a farmer. Anytime I'd go do any other job, you're always sort of just thinking about what, what jobs need doing at the farm. The sugar industry at the moment, we're going really well. Sugar prices are high, so the sugar price is, is not connected to, but it's influenced by oil price. It's a commodity that follows all the commodities up and down according to weather conditions, other influences. As a world market, the sugar demand is still climbing, but as well as that, sugar canes, are, it's food, fibre and energy. We can make, we use a big gas to burn for electricity, we can make fuel, we can make bloody panels for inside of the cars out of the fibre of the cane. So if technology catches up with sugar cane, there's a, a thousand and one different things we can do with it. The local rail is all managed and controlled by the local sugar mill. As a farmer, all we have to do is deliver it to the rail point and then the sugar mill takes the um, cane to the sugar mill. We bought the Polaris probably just over 12 months ago. It's been doing exactly what it needs to and it's actually surprised us how much we've used it and it's how little we've, we're using our ute. I use it every day. Today we would go back and buy the same vehicle again to utilise for the same job. We really love having it on the farm.